In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on how to find the derivatives of a trigonometric function. And this time, we are going to represent the angle of trigonometric function as u. So let us have the derivative of sine u is cosine u times u prime. The second one, the derivative of tangent u is equal to second square u multiplied by u prime. The third one is the derivative of second u is second u times tangent u multiplied by u prime. And then we have the derivative of cosine u is negative sine u times u prime. Next, we have the derivative of cotangent u is negative cosecant square u times u prime. And then finally, we have the derivative of cosecant u is negative cosecant u times cotangent u multiplied by u prime. And these are the things that we need to remember in order for us to find the derivative of a trigonometric function. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, what is the derivative of sine 5x? So to find the derivative of sine 5x, let us identify the value of u, and that is 5x. And the value of u prime, that is the derivative of 5x, that is 5. And the derivative of sine u is cosine u multiply by u prime. So let us have the derivative of sine 5x, which is cosine, and the value of u, that is 5x, and then u prime, that is 5. So let us have cosine 5x multiplied by 5, and that is 5 cosine 5x. And this will be our answer. On number 2, what is the derivative of cosine x cubed? So let us have the value of u, which is x cubed, and then u prime, that is the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x square. So the derivative of cosine u, that is negative sine u multiplied by u prime. So let us have negative sine and the value of u that is x cubed multiplied by u prime that is 3x square. And let us multiply negative sine x cubed multiplied by 3x square will be negative 3x square times sine x cubed. And this will be our answer. On number 3, what is the derivative of second x square? So to find the derivative of second x square, let us identify the value of u that is x square. And let us have u prime that is the derivative of x square that is 2x. And we all know that the derivative of second u is second u times tangent u multiplied by u prime. So let us have the derivative of second x square that is second u that is x square and then multiply by tangent x square times u prime which is 2x. So let us simplify. So our final answer will be 2x times second x square multiplied by tangent x square. And this will be our answer. What about number 4? What is the derivative of tangent sine 4x? So as you can see, the value of u is sine 4x. And u prime, that is the derivative of sine 4x. 
So the derivative of sine is cosine. And then let us have u, that is 4x, multiplied by 4. So let us simplify. So cosine 4x multiplied by 4, that is 4 cosine 4x. And this will be the value of u prime. And we all know that the derivative of tangent u is second square u multiplied by u prime. So let us have second square and then u that is sine 4x multiplied by u prime that is 4 cosine 4x. So let us multiply. So let us have now 4 cosine 4x times second square times sine 4x. And this will be our answer. On number 5, what is the derivative of sine square 3x? So to find the derivative of sine square 3x, let us rewrite this one as the derivative of sine 3x raised to 2. So as you can see, we have a chain rule. So to simplify a chain rule, let us have 2 multiplied by sine 3x and then raised to 1. Let us have the derivative of sine 3x. So to find the derivative of sine 3x, let us have the value of u, that is 3x, and then u prime, that is the derivative of 3x, which is 3. And we all know that the derivative of sine u is cosine u times u prime. So let us have cosine and then u that is 3x multiplied by u prime that is 3. So therefore, the derivative of sine 3x is 3 cosine 3x. So let us have here 3 cosine 3x. And let us simplify. 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 cosine 3x times sine 3x. This will be our answer. On number 6, what is the derivative of cotangent raised to 4 sine x cubed? So to simplify this one, let us rewrite this one as d over dx cotangent sine x cubed raised to 4. So we have a chain rule. Let us have 4 multiplied by cotangent sine x cubed raised to 3. And we are going to get the derivative of inside. So the derivative of cotangent u that is negative cosecant square u multiplied by u prime. So the value of u here is sine x cubed and u prime that is the derivative of sine x cubed so we have derivative of sine is cosine and then let us have x cubed times the derivative of x cubed, that is 3x squared. So let us simplify. So this will be 3x squared cosine x cubed. So let us have this one. Let us have negative cosecant squared. The value of u is sine x cubed times u prime, that is 3x squared cosine 
x cube so to simplify let us have negative cosecant square sine x cube times 3x square times cosine x cube this will be negative 3x square cosine x cube times cosecant square sine x cube and this will be the differential of cotangent sine x cube so let us rewrite this one let us have here negative 3 x square cosine x cube times cosecant square sine x cube and let us multiply this one so our final answer will be 4 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 12 and then let us copy this one x square cosine x cube cosecant square times sine x cube cotangent sine x cube raised to 3. And this will be our answer. On number 7, what is the derivative of cosine raised to 5 tangent sine x raised to 5? So just like in example number 6, we are going to write this one as d over dx cosine tangent sine x raised to 5 and then raised to 5. So as you can see, we have a chain rule. So we are going to have 5 and then we are going to copy everything on the inside. That is cosine tangent sine x raised to 5 and then raised to 4. So from this point, we are going to get the derivative of inside. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine and then u that is tangent sine x raised to 5 and then to find the derivative of u prime let us have tangent the derivative of tangent is second square and then u is sine x raised to 5 and then the derivative of sine is cosine x raised to 5 and the derivative of x raised to 5 will be 5x raised to 4. So let us have second square sine x raised to 5 times 5x raised to 4 cosine x raised to 5. So let us simplify, it will give us 5x raised to 4 cosine x raised to 5 second square sine x raised to 5. So let us have here, this will be u prime, the derivative of this one. So let us have negative sine tangent sine x raised to 5 multiplied by 5 x raised to 4 cosine x raised to 5 second square sine x raised to 5 and this one is the derivative of inside so let us have here 5 let us copy this one cosine tangent sine x raised to 5 raised to 4 multiplied by this one I'm going to bring 5x raised to 4 in front including this 
um, expression. So let us have including negative sign. Negative 5 x raised to 4 cosine x raised to 5 second square sine x raised to 5 times sine tangent sine x raised to 5 and then to write our final answer we just simply multiply this one and then we are done so our final answer will be 5 multiplied by negative 5 will be negative 25 x raised to 4 cosine x raised to, raised to 5 second square sine x raised to 5 sine tangent sine x raised to 5 multiply by cosine tangent sine x raised to 5 then raised to 4 and that's it this will be our final answer so i hope you will learn from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all